Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you four versions of the kettlebell goblet squat. Uh, an exercise that's great for opening up the hips. This is the kind of move that you can do throughout the day. Similar to the move that I showed you yesterday, you can kind of snack on this movement and do it at regular intervals throughout the day in order to keep the hips loose and mobile. First version of the goblet squat is just the basic goblet squat. This one here, you're going to take the kettlebell, you're going to grab it by the horns. If you prefer, you can hold it upside down, but I'm a big fan of holding it this way. You're going to take the feet about shoulder width apart, turn the toes out slightly. You can experiment with this. From here, I'm going to basically just slide down until my elbow connects with the inner portion of my thigh, just above that kneecap. Now from here, I've got my head up. Make sure you're not collapsing, looking down. My chest is big, I'm pushing the elbows onto the thighs, and this is where the magic happens. You're just gonna sit in the hole, maybe you loosen up the hips, you can go side to side here if you want, you can mobilize, you can spend as much time as you want, really, down here. From here, I'm gonna hup, grump, and stand up. That's one rep, I'll show you one more. We're going to slide down, elbow to the inner thigh, big chest here, push out, open up those hips, and then I can get mobilizing. Notice here I shift my hips side to side. In this position, I hook, grunt, and stand up. So that's the basic goblet squat. The next version that I'm going to show you is going to include a curl. Now this one obviously is going to work your arms a little bit, but it's also going to help you sit a little bit deeper into the squat. So if you're not very comfortable in the bottom portion of the squat, this movement might be for you. So on this one, I take the same stance. I set up exactly the same. I slide down, elbow touches the inner thighs, big chest. From here though, I'm going to extend my arms. Now the extension of the arms allows me to just sit back a little bit further into this squat so I can kind of relax a bit deeper. So if you're not comfortable in this position, try this out. You're just going to extend the arms. You'll notice you'll be able to lean back a little bit to sit a little bit deeper into the squat. From here, I can curl it back and when I'm ready, stand up. So that's your second version. The third version is going to also utilize a curl. Now this version is more for variety than anything else. There's no real rationale behind it. It feels quite nice to do it. It's nice to add a little bit of variety sometimes to stop the movement or your workouts getting stale. So with this one, I'm going to start though with the kettlebell in a slightly different position. Now it's going to utilize a curl. I'm going to come down and curl simultaneously. So stand up, kettlebell begins on the hips. I'm gonna pull myself down and simultaneously pull the kettlebell into that position we were in earlier. From here, I stand up and bring the kettlebell to the hips. Like I said, this one is more for variety than anything else. Some people it might be more comfortable. Try it out, see what you think. Now, the fourth version of this is a great catch all mobility drill. So this one, in addition to unlocking the hips, is really gonna help you with your thoracic spine, so this mid portion of the spine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna begin in the same position that we started the goblet squats in earlier. You're going to basically squat down. Now here, we're gonna basically put this kettlebell on the ground. So my elbows are on my thighs, the inner thigh, I'm gonna push out, extend the kettlebell. This time, I'm gonna place the bell on the ground. Now from here, this is the fun bit. We're gonna go arms up, elbow locked, elbow locked. You're looking here to make kind of a Y shape. Some of you though might find that you're out here. Basically, we just need to lock those elbows. Eyes are straight ahead, hup, stand up. Now from here, I'm gonna try and pull myself to the bottom, maintaining those locked elbows. My eyes are forward. Bring my elbows into my thighs, grab the kettlebell, curl it back in, brace, hook, and stand. I'll show you another one of them. So I'm gonna squat down, elbow to the thigh, extend the arm slowly here, place that kettlebell down. From this position, chest stays up, don't collapse here. Arms up, lock the elbows, chest up, hook, stand up. We then pull ourselves back down into the hole, elbows to the thighs, Grab that kettlebell, reel it in, and stand up. 
So there you have it, four versions of the kettlebell goblet squat that you can snack on throughout the day in order to improve the, your mobility in the hips and also in that thoracic spine. Let me know what you think.